we near the 10 month mark of COVID-19's impact on our region, not to mention the rest of the country and the world, the Village of Addison is continuing its efforts to keep our community safe and informed on ways to uh, stop the spread of the virus. We are here at Addison Township on a morning of food distribution from the food pantry, and I am with Mayor Rich Feenstra and Special Projects Coordinator Anna Kubis, who will be handing out COVID-19 essentials kits. Mayor, um, I know we've done this before, yeah. um, but tell us a little bit about what's gonna happen here this morning and what you'll be passing out to residents. Yeah, our, you know, the concept was that we really wanna get out of the community. We could talk about good practice and how to deal with the COVID virus, but actually being out there handing them kits that contain uh, hand wash, uh, mask, information about uh, proper behavior, interactions, uh, the importance of distancing, all the things that we've been talking about. Uh, getting face to face with people makes a much more impactful message. So that's what it's all about. We wanted to get out into the community and uh, really impress upon people how important it is to uh, do the right things to minimize the pandemic and get this thing over with uh, in time to enjoy our summer. Yeah. Um, like I said, you've done this several times before. What is some of the feedback that you've been receiving? Are, are, is this more of a reinforcement at this point of what people already know? Or are there people who are still confused about it? Well, I think there's a little of everything. You know, there's people who don't believe COVID's a really serious issue. There are people who have been very meticulous in following the guidelines, but are getting pandemic, pandemic burnout. Yeah. And uh, so being able to re reinforce that, yeah, it, it is here, it is a problem, and we have to be very vigilant and consistent in the way we deal with uh, interactions. Anna, um, you worked very closely with the mayor as well as mayors from other towns to get this project kind of up and running. I know we've talked about this before, but just give us a little bit of background about how this happened and, and what's going to transpire after this. Well, we had met with other communities and really tried to brainstorm some ideas as to what would be best to get across the educational uh, message to educate folks on the preventative measures uh, that we can all be taking to help combat the pandemic. And so um, not only saying certain things and letting them know about the three W's, but also providing them the tools that they need uh, to be able to do it. You know, masks were very hard to come by. They're easier to come by now, but we still need to make sure that, for instance, with disposable masks, you're getting rid of them, throwing them out, uh, your reusable masks, you're washing them. So making sure that that educational components coupled with the tools that they could actually use to put those preventative measures into practice. Uh, and this is our eighth distribution that we're doing, uh, first of 2021, and uh, we'll be handing them out to those that need it most, so. And what's in the kit for those uh, Inside uh, the kit, these are uh, our second kind of variation of our kits. So these we've received from the DuPage County Health Department. Uh, each one, there is an adult and a youth version. And so in the adult version, we've got an adult size mask along with a hand sanitizer and educational literature. And in the youth ones, we've also got a youth size mask uh, and hand sanitizer and both masks are reusable uh, cotton masks. Uh, Mayor, talk a little bit about where you got the funding to do this. I know this was a pilot program from the village, but as Anna mentioned, we're working with the county now. Yeah, uh, one of the things that uh, was clear early on is that the message wasn't getting out. So we were looking at the communities that seemed to have the highest incidence of COVID, and it was us, it was Bensonville, it was Glendale Heights, West Chicago. And we did get together, as Anna mentioned, and talked about different options. Our suggestion was getting into the community. So that's how this project started. We proposed it to the county and through COVID funding, they gave us the uh, financial backing to do what we're doing and buying kits. We're waiting for about 4,000 more kits to come in. So uh, it's been a major undertaking and uh, you know, hopefully it's making a difference. 
and what will be transpiring after this? I'm, I'm presuming you'll continue this into 2021. Yeah, uh, we, uh, we've already been to one of the grocery stores in town. Uh, we'll continue to do that. The idea also is getting to local neighborhood parks and promoting it and letting people know that we're in their neighborhood. We're here to help and uh, try to encourage them to uh, practice safe and uh, positive behaviors. Well, we've been at Addison Township this morning. The mayor and Anna are about to hand out their COVID-19 kits as people uh, go through here, the drive-through food pantry at Addison Township. Please remember the three W's, watch your distance, wash your hands, wear a mask, and uh, please be safe. I'm Dory Craggy for Addison. Thank you for being with us.